I have a question for the girls. How do y'all be expecting these men to take y'all on these expensive dates when y'all don't even take yourself anywhere expensive? Ooh. I'll be wanting to know that. All y'all go to is Olive Garden and a couple of places that sell hookahs. Like, some stuff just do not be making sense to me. I honestly be taking up for the men majority of the time because y'all be demanding stuff that y'all don't even be having. Y'all be wanting to, y'all put so much on a man and act like men aren't human beings as if they can't go through anything. Oh, he ain't on my level this night. You not even on your level that you think you on. Ooh. Now, some women really need to just chill out. And I understand why a lot of men don't be wanting to put up with y'all. It's crazy. Like, y'all need to check yourselves at the door. <laughs> check out at the door. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Man, I tell you, bro, I, after seeing these kind of videos, I am so glad that I only date abroad now because since I've been doing that, I don't see any of these problems coming my way anymore. And there is a video, <laughs> oh my God, that I'm about to show you guys next that was sent to me. And man, this, <laughs> bro, this is almost like old girl, um, this is like this is almost like old girl and, and the dude um, about the Cheesecake Factory situation almost all over again but this this might be even worse man y'all let me know i'm about to show you guys this clip uh, so today i linked with this i met a few weeks ago out with my friends this nigga texting me for weeks talking to himself why i didn't block him bitch i don't know but today i was bored and i had time so he texts me like can we meet for drinks and i'm like yeah Meet me here. They got the best fucking oysters in Atlanta, like, hands down. So I'm like, yes, yeah, so I can get some content. Come on. It's so Y'all, when the fourth one came out, he was looking at me crazy. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm going to eat. And I was coming anyway. But I ain't going to lie. No, I wouldn't have did all that. But I did do all that. It was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Mm. It was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. It was so good. So after that, I'm like, baby, mm, what's next? What I'm about to eat? These potatoes, mm, they were so good. And the crab cakes, everything was so good. 10, 10, baby. Why the fuck this bitch ass like he going to the bathroom and never come back? <laughs> the fuck? I'm like, hold the fuck on. It's been like 10, 20, 30 minutes, bitch. What the fuck is that? Had to end up grabbing a tab, bitch. He left me with his little one fucking drink. Yeah, bitch, I'm so glad bitch keep me some money because what? That was crazy to me. And I said, bitch, you run out on the tab. He's talking about I'm offering you to drink. The fuck are you talking about, bitch? Boy, man, the entitlement. It's over 9,000! See, and you see how she tried to downplay it and try to make it, oh, he been begging me to go out on a date. So you know what? I'm going to spend him for everything he worth. Now, I don't know if any of you guys ever ate oysters before, before, but I actually didn't try oysters for the first time till last year when I went to New Orleans. And I'm actually going back down there later this year. Check out the Travel Vlog channel, Unplug Traveler. Bruh, oysters are not cheap. Oysters are expensive as fuck. And let me tell you, as you can see, it really ain't much to them. In my personal opinion, oysters are overpriced and not and, and not worth it. 
I'm not saying they're not good. Oysters are really good. But for what they cost, hell nah, man. I'm like, bro, bro did the right thing. You, you, yeah, you was trying, you tried to finesse him, bro. He was smart. I'm like, I'm like, and, and he better than me. I wouldn't have paid a damn thing. You would have paid for my drink too. Shit, I'm like, I'm like, just imagine if he felt entitled to the box afterwards. Yeah, she would have had that same energy. Let's keep it moving. Going on dates for the past two weeks. When I say I'm not satisfied, this what the fuck I got the truth. When you take me on a date, you open up my fucking door. You open up the door. You pull out the chur if it's a chur, and you cut my fucking steak if it's a steak. I'm always gonna order a steak to see if you got some fucking home training, hoe. If you take a female on a date, she order a steak, you cut it. The fuck they pre-cut it, then you cut it. Be a gentleman. Be the gentleman. You trying to gently touch on his ass? Do the work. Do the work, we going on multiple dates. You want some ass from me? We going on multiple dates. We putting in effort. Bitch, we doing what we gotta do to get some ass. Fuck on. You must unlearn what you have learned. So you want to be treated like a lady. You want him to be a gentleman. Have no problem with requiring a man to open your door, pull out your chair. I've never heard of this cut my steak situation because that's giving very much i can't do for myself but but if that's your requirement that's your requirement however this young lady is not presenting as a lady nope. you're cussing up a storm yep you're calling this man derogatory names now i know she's not talking directly to the man who took her out on a date i get that but the presentation does not give treat her with gentlemen like ways. It's giving treat her like a, on the streets. Because why are we talking like that? You're saying you are very disappointed. Well, it could be that you didn't present your requirements properly. Let me give you an example. Oh, you're not gonna open the door for me? Oh, it just makes me feel so special to have you open my door. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. That was very sweet of you. That's something you should do for me all the time. Oh, it just makes me feel special. I'm so excited about this date. I can already tell you're a gentleman. Can you get the chair as well? Look at you getting points today. Versus probably what she did, which was this. I know you ain't gonna make me open my door. Did your mama not teach you nothing? Y'all niggas ain't got no home training. I mean, you see this chair sitting right here? You not gonna pull this chair out? You ain't gonna pull the chair out? <sighs> okay, I got a steak here. You need to cut my steak. Yeah, you gonna cut my steak. How you gonna take me out on a date and not cut my steak? Y'all may not like admitting it, but how you present, how you ask, how you require changes how someone responds to you. That's a whole lot of aggressive masculine energy in that video. So that's probably why she got what she got in return. Men like to be gentlemen to ladies. And she is 100% right, bro. This is one of the reasons, I gotta be honest with you guys, this is one of the reasons why I'm so excited to go back down to Columbia because Columbia is where I had my first experience dating abroad and it is so different man like it, it's just a completely different vibe it it's definitely it definitely has that masculine feminine dynamic you know what i mean you know down there the women hold your hand and hook your arm it's kind of like a way to you know what i mean it it, it puts it if they put you in that position of masculinity where you know what I mean, you pretty much got to put up or shut up. But they do it in a way where like, you know what I mean? It, 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 <laughs> and I hate and I hate to use makes me feel, but it makes you feel proud. You know what I mean, it makes you feel like a man. You know what I mean? So stuff like holding the door, pulling out the seat like all that stuff came naturally when i was dating in columbia like you know what i mean and it was appreciated and it was reciprocated in affection um touch um being attentive and you know and and in some cases being you know being aggressive 
uh, well, <laughs> let's just say overly affectionate. That's probably another another term that I should have used. But yeah, man. And a lot of guys really aren't experiencing that in the United States, man. And you're starting to see more videos like, and it's and it's strange that. I'm seeing videos like this and literally days after I just reacted to the video of the girl <laughs> who got clowned because she thought she was too good for the cheesecake factory. Meanwhile, that chick looked like she didn't already had enough cheesecake. <clears throat> All you need to do is sit your cheesecake eating ass down somewhere. But yeah, carrying that kind of attitude, yeah, that, that ain't gonna get you nowhere with men when it comes to dating, man, especially now. Because I'm like, dating just isn't was what it was, man. And I'm telling you guys, man, for all you, if you are passport bros or you're thinking about getting a passport, I'm telling you, bro, dating overseas is a complete 180 from what you, what you've seen in this video. I'm telling you right now, the women down there, bro, yeah, man, it, it's, it, it's, bro, it's, it's mind blowing and eye opening to say the least. But yeah, fellas, but if you in the States, please don't deal with this, all right? <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments as, as well as my latest mixtape, Lost Music Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, the spreadshot.com link is in the description as well. Until the next video, y'all, deuces.